Jimmy has just got a nil-nil draw here today against Biggles Wade. Good to get a point on the board and stop the rot. Yeah, definitely. Um, plan A was to get a point. Plan B was to try and nick three. Um, I think it's a great point to go in the change rooms and see nine lads standing in tracksuits after the game. That's probably nine starters or nine lads who got a chance of playing football uh, in the starting eleven. Um, a point against somebody who's unbeaten in the league is, is tremendous. So Elliot went off injured in the first half. Is his foot troubling him again? Yeah, he's got that. He's got that bruise on his foot. So um, the great news is now we can relax for 13 days, clean all the injuries up. Uh, I think you'll see me with a different team altogether in the next two weeks because uh, uh, I think I'll have three, four, five different bodies floating around fit. Uh, a couple of signings that I'm trying to get in. So um, I think away at Leicester might be completely different again. Got Nigel, Mass and Eddie and. Uh... Alex all out injured at the minute. You've got a time scale for when they're going to be back? Uh, Nigel looks like he's three or four weeks. Um, he, he, Nigel's a very fit lad. He heals quite quick. So I'm hoping, certainly won't rush him because it's a ligament damage in the ankle. Mass, I've just had a chat with there. Uh, it's great news now. He has the plaster off on the 23rd. So uh, hopefully it's all healed underneath and he can just put his little um, arm brace on and, and play with that. So he'll have five, six days to have the cast off for his hand to wheel and get used to the the fresh air. Uh, who's it all? Alex. Alex has been to see a great physio of mine, physio friend of mine, Neil McDermott, and um, he's been told three or four weeks, so Alex will be touch and go whether he'll be all right by then. So that's great news again. You brought a couple of signings in this week, and pleased with them? Yeah, big exodus. Um, when you get a six foot seven lad in your side, he's going to win things. Uh, very rusty, uh, ain't played for a few months. Uh, been in the football league, played for the league, and he knows the score X. Um, bit of football mate of mine, and he's he's, he's listening to my rallying call, help me out, pal. Um, he's even playing with two broken fingers, shouldn't be playing. Um, but on about the 35th phone call and text, he, he, he buckled and said, All right, I'll play for you. So, um, yeah, great to have him in the middle there. He's, he's, he's vocal, he organises, and I think he got the best out of Brad, which uh, we're searching for. I think he got the best out of Ruben. And I thought the three centre rolls were magnificent and deservedly got us the point today. And young Jordan Nelson, uh, great name around Leicester. Everybody's told me all about him. Um, I had a meeting with him for an hour the other day with his sort of like agent, liaison officer from Thurnby. Uh, we agreed for him to come in and, and have a go. So um, I thought he'd done ever so well. I think it'll be a lot better when he's got a big strike partner um, who can take all the bumps and hustle and bustle and the kid can just get his nice feet and get his goals. So I was proud of him today as well. You switched to that back three today. Is that something we're going to see from your side going forward? I think so. Um, at the moment, we ain't got enough up top. Um, we're not having the, the injured lads available. So um, I just think I need to put three centre-halves out there and shut the door a little bit, uh, which then releases the full-backs or wingers, whichever way people want to call it. I thought Eddie done well today in, in spurts. A um, lot more to come from Eddie. I thought uh, Owen done all right when he dropped in there. I thought Elliot had done really, really well in the first 20 minutes. But um, I want to pat Elliot on the back. I've just had a chat with him now and said, rest your foot now, solid for, for 13 days. And uh, this might be the bit you need where you, you can get your foot right. And ho hopefully he's back. But I thought M2 done all right. And then I thought Lee and, and Jay Keith complimented each other very well in the middle. Uh, and if I had to be greedy, I'd just say we're a little bit short up to, on top of the goal threat and strength, but uh, we've got that in the camp, so we should be all right. We've got a few young lads who are sitting on the bench and around the dressing room at the minute, lots of warming and across. Any chance for them to go out and get some minutes anytime soon? Yeah, deals have been done. I spoke to three or four clubs for all the, um, the lads who are on the verge. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get it done Friday because it's the FA Vars. Uh, a lot of teams are saying, like, do you want them to play in the FA Vars? Uh, yes, they can play in it because they can step up, but they can't step down. But most teams had got themselves all sorted out, and I was very busy at work yesterday, and the time ran away. They, they had to sign before 12, so um, it'll happen this week for a few of them, and uh, I think that's the best place for them, to go out and get minutes and uh, get some football experience. No good keep sitting watching. Um, we're surrounded by a 30-man squad at the minute, and I can't get a good 11 out there that fits. Cheers, Jimmy.